Okay, uh, welcome everyone. Today I'm going to give you a brief introduction on how to install uh, my custom terminal Apple Scripts, which fix iTerm behavior in uh, Alfred app for OS X. Um, this is the official forum post that you can see on screen at the moment. If you would like to come directly to here, the URL you can go to is stew.link forward slash alf iterm post, which is that right there. Uh, this forum post will be kept up to date with all the latest changes and uh, any new releases of the uh, Apple scripts which are officially on GitHub. You can go to the official GitHub URL by going to stew.link forward slash alf iterm git. Uh, I'd like to put out a big thanks to Vitor who's helped uh, clean up the Apple scripts and submitted some really good pull requests to me as well. So, getting into the fun stuff. Uh, to get these into your Alfred app installation, uh, all you'll need to do is select whether you're currently using iTerm 2 or whether you're using iTerm 2.9. Uh, the 2.9 branch is the new beta version, uh, but there are some uh, improved features of using the uh, 2.9 branch, including getting around the uh, age-old issue of uh, that default tab opening up. So, all you need to do is select the version that you'd like. In this case, we'll select the 2.9 uh, version. You just need to select the script in its entirety and uh, make sure you copy that. If you then open up Alfred Preferences, click on uh, Features and Terminal Shell, you'll need to select from the drop down uh, Custom and you'll see this default uh, Apple script here. If you select that and paste in the new version of the script, this will give you uh, the full functionality again. Uh, it's actually as simple as that. All you need to do now is run a command and it works. You'll notice that uh, with the 2.9 branch, if I do ls, I'll only get one window. I won't get that default second tab opening, which is, uh, which is great. So if you have any issues, please do not hesitate to put a post on the forum uh, and uh, if, you do real, if you do recognize that there's a bug, also, again, please don't hesitate to come to the official GitHub repository at that URL there again, uh, click on issues and log a for formal uh, bug or even enhancement request. Thanks very much, everyone, and uh, I hope you get some use out of them.